Thanks for joining us on CBS 19 Plus. And today, we've got something else to talk about other than the heat. And I think this is a glorious day considering all I've been telling you the last couple of weeks is triple digits, more heat to come, and no rain. Thankfully, today it's a, it's a different story. And I mean, it's a different story for the entire country because we're in a different weather pattern than what we have been the last couple of weeks. We had this blocking high, which all that means is we've had a lot of warm air coming towards us. Today, we had a little bit of a shift. There's this very zonal, and by zonal, I mean horizontal flow pattern that the upper level winds are going into. And because of that, it's causing us to see some trickles of rain here and there. Now, if the frontal boundary that we're looking to see that rain come at, if it was a little bit further south, we would be seeing some rain. Sadly, it's not. It's staying mainly to the northeast in the Arklatex region, but Good for them. We're going to be happy that somebody's seeing some rain and even not just us, but over out to the southeast. I wanted to just point this out. This big, big system that's just moving its way into the peak heating of the day and just pushing out towards towards the east. They're getting a lot of storms right now and even in the northeast, they're seeing some crazy, crazy storms also. So everyone's getting the rain. Sadly, we're not. We're being met with some dry air down in the Gulf, which is what that orange area is. And even back over towards the west, they're seeing the dry air and we're just seeing some cloud cover for today. It's a lot more gloomy than what it has been. And thankfully, because of that, well, our temperatures aren't sitting super hot right now. And we can always be happy about that because triple digits are only to come. And I'll show you on the 10 day forecast how many triple digits we will be seeing. For the upper level wind pattern, we always like to start just by telling you what's going on up there. And then we're just gonna work ourselves towards the surface. So we're starting up, up in about 35,000 feet above us. Right now, this ridge of high pressure that's causing us to see very high temperatures, it's just staying very consistent, very persistent for us. And we're not gonna see many changes for the next couple of days. And as I just play this through, you see we're just staying right in this red, orange category, and we're not gonna be seeing any types of changes in the weather pattern very soon. So triple digits are kind of here to stay and they're just you really just hanging on for by with us right now and we're only going to see it the next couple of weeks what's been happening today i know everyone maybe heard some trickles of rain or maybe we were just crossing our fingers and hoping that they were trickles of rain it was probably just your sprinkler but for those of us over in the arklatex region yeah there there was some rain this morning it wasn't a substantial amount that can change the drought and everything that we're going through right Right now, but there was some trickles out over in the northern counties and those people saw some rain and even for the next couple of days, like I said, this pattern that we're in, it's very, very consistent and it's not wanting to move. It's being very stubborn and not wanting to shift at all. And because of that, well, the next seven days looks very dry, especially for East Texas and even deep east Texas. Those up in the north, yeah, they're probably gonna see a lot more rain than what we will be seeing, especially for the next week. And then we'll start to see some types of changes going on about two weeks out from now. So we're just, we're just trying to make it through this next couple of weeks, but we can always be thankful for that cloud cover that's helping us stay cooler today. Rainfall reports, we're still under and we're still below average for the 2023 uh, for the 2023 year. Now, Longview and Lufkin, you see they're in that green area. We still need more rain than what we're getting right now to help out with the drought because it's starting to become very, very dry. Now, as we go through the summer and the rains move through, what we have to be looking forward to, some more heat. And because of that, we just gotta give you those heat reminders so that you're ready and prepared as you go out there because it's only gonna get hotter as we go throughout the next couple of weeks so that UV index is right now at 11, which is where it typically is, and it's for extreme. So about 10 minute burn time. If you're outside for 10 minutes, you need to be wearing that sunscreen and reapplying every two hours. I always say SPF 50, really great, but you still have to reapply every two hours, especially if you're out with the kids or maybe you're going to the water park, really make sure you are hydrating and then also using that sunscreen. For the drought index, 
it's not really changed much, but we're seeing some expanding in the drought right now. Let me show you this week. There's a slight difference, a very subtle difference, and I'll move just a bit out the way so you can see. There's a subtle difference over in Henderson and also over in Crockett. So I'll just step back so you can see the full thing. We're starting to see this drought expand because again, not seeing much rain. And I also wanna direct your eye to the Northern counties. See how they're the ones getting the rain right now and they're staying pretty much, pretty much good on this drought index, but for the rest of us not seeing much rain, well then that's why we have this drought index starting to slowly increase. So we're getting into this moderate range right now and then some of us even in the severe. So we really, really are trying to see how much rain we can get because that'll help us with the drought index and hopefully for the rest of the summer. And because of how dry it is, well then we also have to think about the burn bans that are in place because that's legal outdoor burning restriction of any kind. And that's because of the elevated risk for wildfire and then also an elevated risk for poor air quality. Because of that, now it's starting to expand north, even into Gilmer and over in Longview. They're seeing the effects of the lack of rain that we're getting, and it's starting to slowly move north. And I wouldn't be surprised by the end of the summer if we keep at the rate that we're going, there are more counties that are definitely going to be included in this burn ban. So just make sure you are really being reminded about any type of outdoor burning because the ground is not very saturated right now. It's starting to dry out, and because of that, all it needs is just a little spark. And then once you get that spark, that can cause some fire. So we're just trying to keep everybody safe. For that forecast fire danger, thankfully, things are starting to lighten up a bit. Just last week, I showed you this, this same graphic, and the blue was just at the very, very tip over in Jefferson. So right now, thankfully, it's not as bad, probably because of that rain that we got, but for the most part, we're still in this moderate to high and then very high range for forecast fire danger. So just try and eliminate really just being outside in any type of burning that you have. For that 10 day forecast, we're just gonna talk through it even though there's not much to talk through because there's just triple digits all across the screen. We're looking to have our hottest day on on Thursday about around 106. Our record high for right now, the highest temperature that we have seen this summer, this has, has been at 106, so we're just tying the highest temperature right now, but I mean, we can only increase as we go throughout the summer. Right now for the rest of the week, mostly sunny skies, 105 for the next, for the end of the week really, and then going into next week, more triple digits to come. We're still watching that 30%. Really keep your fingers crossed for that 30 because there, there's a slight chance we could see a change in the weather pattern and then get some more rain. But overall, we're going to stay very, very dry, very, very sunny. So make sure you are drinking lots of water. You're also wearing light clothing because that reflects the sun rays instead of it being absorbed by dark clothes. And then also just hydrating, drinking your water, and also checking on your family and friends and your elderly neighbors because we're all trying to get through the heat. And if we can do those things, maybe we'll all beat the heat together. So thank you for joining us for CBS 19 Plus and try and stay cool out there.